So now we find ourselves at the end of the season after the Epiphany that leads us into the 40-day season of renewal known as Lent. This season always begins with the narrative of Jesus' baptism in early January, and it ends on this final Sunday with the narrative of Jesus' transfiguration on the Holy Mount and his conversation with Moses representing the law and Elijah representing the prophets. And it leads us to one key question, which is why? Why and how could we have such a transfiguration moment? Isn't Jesus already known to be the perfect one, the sinless one, God in the flesh? How can we improve upon perfection? And yet the scripture tells us quite clearly that we can. With his disciples Peter and James and John, Jesus ascends a high mountain and he is transfigured before them. And the translation is that his clothes become dazzling white. The word dazzling suggests that what the disciples are looking upon is something above and beyond any human creature they have ever seen before. Apparently, it is possible to improve upon perfection. And that actually is our theme as we move into these great 40 days of Lent, followed by the 50 days of resurrection and new life. It is possible to improve upon perfection. With God, there is no upper limit to how great things can be and to how great we can be made. Yes, Lent is a time for acknowledging our sinfulness and looking at those dark places where regeneration is absolutely necessary in us and in our lives. But it's also important to keep our eyes on the prize. God is not so interested in us wallowing in guilt and feelings of inadequacy as being wide open to being transformed from glory into glory. Jesus' transfiguration is meant to pioneer our transfiguration, our shift from earthbound creatures who somehow think there's an upper limit to how great we can be, into creatures who realize that with God all things are possible, and the sky is the limit for us and for our lives and for the good that we can do in this world. So friends, as we move into this season of Lent, I invite you to open up your hearts to the God who can transfigure you as well, to make you dazzling, to make you something above and beyond your wildest dreams, to make you someone who can go into the world and do things for God that you never thought possible.